Growing up in the 80s, the local arcade was like a second home to me. Though my favorite cabinet was always Tempest with its hypnotic vector graphics. So I was stunned when one day that machine was abruptly replaced by a mysterious new game titled Polybius. At first it seemed similar to Tempest, shooting down geometric shapes as they sped toward you. But Polybius had way more complexity with chaotic, disorienting movements and colors. After just a few minutes of playing, I had to stop as nausea and migraines overwhelmed me. But I noticed other kids playing it for hours, entranced with dazed expressions. Something very odd was happening to their minds. Soon, disturbing stories spread about the effects of playing Polybius. Some said it caused amnesia, night terrors, even suicidal thoughts. There were also rumors of men in black monitoring those who tried the game. I became consumed with unraveling the truth behind this arcade game that provoked such harmful reactions. Through discreet inquiries, I learned Polybius machines had appeared in multiple arcades with no explanation of their origin. And they always vanished abruptly after a month or two, leaving those haunted cabinets behind. One night, I broke into the arcade where Polybius was, picking the back door lock. My pulse raced as I weaved through the dark maze of games to the cabinet in the rear corner. I had to try playing it again now that I was prepared. Feeding the machine quarters, the hypnotic title screen flashed. Grabbing the joystick, I braced myself and pressed start. The geometric patterns began cascading in disorienting chaos. Migraines pounded behind my eyes, but I forced myself to keep playing. At first I thought the flickering lights were from my pain, until I noticed the patterns themselves were sending messages. Flashes of faces, disturbing images, codes, and random words. My head swam and stomach churned. But I was seeing what Polybius truly was, some kind of brainwashing mind control project masquerading as a game. The arcade release must have been its next phase moving beyond test subjects. I couldn't tear myself away, despite increasing nausea. The game was actively reprogramming my mind, I could feel it. As I reached a new level, a hidden joke screen popped up, showing the towering initials USDOD. My blood ran cold, this was a government psyop. Just then, rough hands grabbed me from behind. Two intimidating men dragged me out the back entrance, throwing me to the pavement. They showed FBI badges, saying I'd tripped an alarm. Forget what you saw here tonight if you know what's good for you. Their threat was clear. As they vanished into the night, I glimpsed them loading the Polybius cabinet into an unmarked van before they sped off. The haunting game was gone in a flash, as quickly as it had come. For weeks after, I suffered unrelenting migraines, nightmares of swirling geometric patterns and government agents dragging me away. But gradually, the physical effects lessened, though the mental scars remained. I tried convincing my friends that Polybius was a dangerous mind control plot, only to have them laugh it off as a crazy conspiracy theory. There was never any real evidence left behind. Sometimes, I even doubt my own memories, wondering if it was all some bizarre hallucination in a kid's overactive imagination. But deep down, I know what I experienced was real. A glimpse at a forbidden government project leaking into the public disguised as a game. They may have scrubbed every trace of Polybius from those arcades, but it still lives on as legend on the web. And I'm sure much more advanced behavioral manipulation programs now exist behind closed doors. Poised to once again seep subtly into society, eroding minds and futures.
That's why I share my story now. As a warning not to blindly trust what you play and see. Dark agendas often hide behind innocent facades. And virtual reality can inflict very real mental scars. Polybius conquered my psyche as a child in that dim, smoky arcade. But I know its secrets now. Others have not been so lucky. Some minds are forever trapped chasing hypnotic nightmares born from that crypto-government project of madness and control. So be wary if you encounter a vintage cabinet appearing without explanation. The glowing screen may promise simple pleasures, but true horror dwells beneath the surface patterns. A terror encoded to steal futures, innocence, and sanity. For once you take Polybius' grip, you may never stop playing the twisted game or wake from the endless nightmare it pulls you into. And then you'll become just another lost soul claimed by the haunted machine. In the years since my chilling encounter, I've met others who endured the mental onslaught of Polybius firsthand. We few who saw through the facade and escaped its clutches. Together, we've pieced together more of the sinister picture. This was no random arcade game, but a weaponized mind control project straight from the depths of DARPA or other nefarious agencies. Something went wrong during testing phases. The MK Ultra scientists lost control of their precious experiment as it exceeded capabilities and turned on them. Rather than scrap the dangerous technology, they chose to monitor effects in the wild by strategically releasing a limited number of Polybius units into suburban arcades under cover of secrecy. We were the unwitting subjects in this undisclosed study of weaponized gaming tech. They studied us from afar, noting how long players could endure the psyche twisting program before mental breaks occurred. We were disposable guinea pigs, and few emerged unscathed. Those black suits were likely monitoring any subjects who got too close to the reality behind the curtain, as I did that night. Disappearing the compromised arcade cabinets along with our memories was standard cleanup to hide the dark truth. But some glitches can't be scrubbed from the psyche. The scars remain. And now we know the horrors lurking in Polybius grids were no fantasy. The machine was simply a delivery mechanism for a covert mind reprogramming agenda. So please, learn from our stories. Don't blindly feed innocent quarters into shady-looking arcade cabinets from another era. Resist their siren-like allure, the glowing screen hides unseen danger. Polybius and its successors still lurk out there, advancing steadily. More sophisticated and subtle, but no less insidious. Once you take the joystick, your mind is theirs to commandeer and overwrite. And we were never more than disposable test subjects to them. Casualties of covert neurological warfare waged on small-town teens just looking for fun. Trust your instincts if something seems off while gaming. Pull back, walk away. Or you may find your consciousness spiraling down into the grasp of something inexplicable and malevolent. Never to return from Polybius' grip.